grade 4 math, number 90, compare decimals. Alright, let's do a quick, quick review here. A decimal is a number that is to the right side of the decimal point. See? Here's the decimal point, and that's the decimal two-tenths. This is three and two-tenths. We can compare numbers using place values. Here's our decimal point, and to the left of the decimal point we have our ones, tens, hundreds, and it goes bigger and bigger, right? Thousands, ten thousands. Well, on the right side of the decimal point we have tenths, hundredths, and then it keeps going that way, right? Notice there's no oneths. Isn't that funny? It goes straight to tenths, all right? So we can compare fractions using place value. All right, let's look at this. Which one is bigger? We've got 60 orange squares filled in out of 100 squares, which is 60 one hundredths, because that's the hundredths place. This one has six squares filled out of 100 squares. It is six one hundredths. See? The six is in the hundredths place. So this one's bigger. It's got more orange squares filled in, doesn't it? This could also be written like this. And that's what can be confusing because you'll think, oh, they're either the same or one is bigger than the other. See? Make sure that they're over the same fraction amount. Don't compare tenths to hundredths, okay? Make sure you're comparing tenths to tenths or hundredths to hundredths, okay? Let's look at this one. Which is bigger, sixteen hundredths or two tenths? Well, if we have a hundred boxes here, and this is sixteen one hundredths, there are sixteen orange boxes filled in. Two tenths is the same thing as taking the hundred and splitting it into ten bars. See, there's the two tenths or two tenths. But it's the same thing as twenty little one hundredth boxes. So this one is actually more. It's more by four little boxes. Twenty is four more than sixteen, see? So this is greater than sixteen one hundredths. See? Make sure you're comparing the denominators, okay, that are the same. If we multiply the two tenths, numerator and denominator, by ten, we make the denominator into a one hundred, and we can see the numerator is twenty. Twenty is bigger than sixteen, see? If it was on a number line, and this was zero right here, and each of these is a hundredth, one one hundredth, two one hundredths, three one hundredths, till we get to ten one hundredths. This would be eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen one hundredths. See? Nineteen, twenty one hundredths. So you can see here's the sixteen right here, right? That's sixteen one hundredths. You can see the difference that the twenty is bigger. See? It's bigger by four, isn't it? So twenty hundredths is bigger than sixteen hundredths. Two tenths is bigger than sixteen hundredths. All right? Let's look at this, which is more. This is five tenths, and this is five hundredths. We make the denominators the same and see we have fifty hundredths. So this is equal to fifty hundredths when we make the denominators the same. And now, can you see which is bigger, 50 one-hundredths or 5 one-hundredths? If you had 50 little squares filled in or 5 little squares filled in, which one is bigger? Yeah, the 5 tenths, which became 50 one-hundredths, see? How about this one? If you read it, it's 3 one-hundredths, and this is 30 one-hundredths. It also could be read as 3 tenths if we took the zero away, see? And then see, down here, take it away, it's 3 tenths if we take those zeros away. So which one's bigger? Oh, 30 is bigger than 3, isn't it? How about this one? Is 27 one hundredths bigger or 28 one hundredths bigger? Think of the little orange squares being filled in. 28 of them filled in or 27 of them filled in? Ah, 28 is more than 27, right? All right, we can keep our place value chart in mind as we do these, which is more? nine tenths or eighty one hundredths. Well, if we had nine tenths, it would be like that, and the eighty one hundredths would be like that. 
We could put an invisible zero here, couldn't we? So which one's bigger by looking at the place values? Which is bigger, 90 or 81? Ah, you see it? If we gave them the same denominator and multiplied the 9 tenths by the 10 for a numerator and denominator, we could see that we have 90 one hundredths. See that? What if we did 38 hundredths or 83 hundredths? Okay, let's see if I can do this without making a total mess. All right. 38 hundredths or 83 hundredths? Which one's bigger? Oh, 83 is much bigger than 38, isn't it? Because there's an 8 in the tenths place. Okay? All right, let's see if we can clean this up again without making a huge mess. Which is bigger, 5 tenths or 52 hundredths? All right? 5 tenths or 52 hundredths? Can you see that? 5 tenths or 52 hundredths? Which one's bigger? Remember, there's an invisible zero placeholder there. We can also give the 5 tenths the same denominator, right? And multiply the numerator and the denominator by the 10, and that would be 50 one hundredths. So which is more, 50 or 52? Because they both have hundredths. Yeah, it's going to be the 52. All right, what about this one? 15 hundredths or one-tenth? Which one's bigger? Well, it needs to have the same denominator, right? What if we did it up here in our place value chart? Okay, we've got 15 hundredths and one-tenth. 15 hundredths and one-tenth. Can you see which one's bigger? If there's an invisible zero here, 15 is bigger than 10, isn't it? Yeah, so it's going to be like that. And if we did change this to hundredths and multiplied each side, we'd see it that it's only a 10, and that's a 15. See? How about this one? This is our, our last question. Pardon the shine on my board there. We've got a beautiful sunny day here. Let's see if I can get rid of it. If Emma and Tala ran a race and Emma crossed the finish line after 5 and 86 one hundredths minutes and Tala crossed the finish line after 5 and 88th one hundredths minutes, who won the race? Okay, well, here's Emma. 5 and 86 one hundredths is how fast she ran and Tala ran it in 5 and 88 one hundredths. Now, Tala's amount is more. See, 88 is bigger than 86. So did that mean she won? No. It's a race. See? It's whoever it does it the quickest in the smallest amount of time, right? It took Emma less time, which means she ran faster. So even though Emma's amount was less, she won the race because she did it faster. See? When you do a race, the smaller the amount of time you run it in is better, right? So now you can see how we compare decimals. The best way to do it is to use a place value chart or to make sure that your denominators match. Just to be sure, get some scratch paper and make sure, you know, with a little multiplication, if one is really bigger than the other before you commit to an answer. Okay. We're going to talk about geometry next. Fourth grade geometry. Aren't you excited? I am. I love geometry. I'll see you there. Bye.